Hi guys, Mike Hayden from 24 Hour Solar Power here. Just a quick video regarding renters. We get a lot of people that have rent, own a tiny house or an earth ship or something like that, ask a lot of questions about a really simple, easy solar system to install. Um, so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on a really basic system. Uh, there's an off the shelf kit you can purchase or you can actually make all these yourself. We run workshops teaching people how to make these or you know how to buy the off the shelf kit. So, okay. What this is is an inverter, um, solar regulator, and a charger all in one. So basically, if you grab a couple of solar panels, I highly recommend thin film solar panels. The reason I recommend thin film solar panels is they're shade tolerant, heat tolerant, they're less embodied energy. Just for example, there's one of these crystal panels. If you cover one of these cells up here, that whole panel stops working. So if you're renting, you don't really have the best spot to put some solar panels, there's maybe a little bit of shade or it's covered. The, if you've got the thin film solar panels, the shade's not, gonna, not going to bother them. So they're, they're a lot better panel if you ask me. We actually have them completely on our whole house here in Sydney. And we, we, we run our whole house on them. Um, okay, so you grab your solar panels and they're pretty much just plugged straight into the bottom of this here. I've actually got a, a joiner on that there, which allows you to put more solar panels into one connection. But you can also run three different strings of solar panels in there. So if you do have a few mix match solar panels, like you have a thin film panel, you have a crystal panel, you have a poly panel or something like that, you can shove three sets of strings in there to run different types of panels. Now the next thing is batteries. They come pre-wired. So literally, you put it onto your positive and on your negative. This is just the car battery I'm just testing at the moment using. Um, that there's about 300 watts of usable power where that's actually a nickel iron battery now they're both 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries that there's about 1.2 kilowatt hours of usable power and that's about 300 watts um, the nickel iron they'll actually last a lifetime they require some maintenance um, with these things here you'll probably get two to five years out it depends on how hard you run them and things you run on so you just plug your batteries in now the next thing is here this is an extension cord, some in Sydney in my house here. So I've just plugged into the wall. Oops, turn off, so let's turn it on. And what we'll notice, it's a shelf there, we're actually turning that, well it's actually an old suitcase we've repurposed that we're making a shelf out of, which is great. Um, my handyman made that for me, which is unreal. Um, okay, so this 240 comes back in over here. We're still on an inverter at the moment. Oh, and it's just popped over to charger, um, so basically, the solar panels are inside, they're not working, charging the batteries. Because I've turned that on now, it's actually grabbing power from the house and, and charging the, um, and the battery up. Okay, so that's your backup power in. So, you know, a tiny house or something like that, that circuit there could be a generator that you've wired in. All your 240 circuits are all in here. So there's protection for your in for your 240. Uh, if you turn that one there, we turn that off. The, the light goes off, output. We turn it back on the light comes back on. So that's actually your master output. So they're pre-safety with trip switches and all that sort of stuff. And these are your different circuits over here. You can wire. What I've just done for this here, I've just got a, a power board, um, you know, from one of the shops. I've just cut the end off it, wired into there, and then you can just plug you know, the moment we're running a light in that there. So it's actually a really, really simple system to pretty much all plug and play. Um, you know, we do make all these up and sell them pre-wired, um, which are really, really simple, so you're not confident with that, but in reality, it's actually really, really simple and easy to do if you follow some instructions on the internet. You can do all this stuff yourself, which is really simple. Um, so that's a really basic um, system to, basically for renters. If you really like to know more, get on to 24hoursolarpower.com. Um, we've got a load of range of videos over there we've made up to show people how to do this sort of stuff. And like I said, you can use this at your house uh, as a renter. If you've got a unit, you've got some, you know, you're just going to have extension cords run around the house and a few cables and things like that. But you can tuck it all away and make it look neat. And you can take it and put it in your tiny home or whatever. So uh, thanks, guys. And any questions, get in touch with 24 Hour Solar Power.